the Cleveland Browns. Still, it's like about an hour since the game ended and I'm still in utter shock at what I, I saw today. Um, been checking out some videos. I saw um, A. Fizzle still in the process of watching his laughing at me and my team. Can't say anything back. Uh, Terrin Hill, I think that's his name. Make sure you sub him up. He did a video laughing at me and my team. Cannot say anything back. I mean, when you lose to the Cleveland Browns, a perennial loser for the last three years and an 0-16 uh, record last year, what could I possibly say? Um, I'm sitting and I'm watching the Falcons press conference and I, I feel like I want to just throw everything I possibly could at them from haymakers to, to, to undercuts to, to uh, hits below the belt. Um, it's just embarrassing, people. As a loyal Falcons fan, I saw AR-10. I want to give a shout-out to AR-10, Sergeant AR-10. Salute, sir. His video was spot on. The Falcons embarrassed, uh, embarrassed us today. And this is a loss. I mean, to me, in some ways, I think it's worse than the Super Bowl loss because at least we lost to a team that's been historically winning. We lost to the Cleveland Browns, y'all. I want you Falcons fans to let that sink in. We lost to the Cleveland fucking Browns. A team with Matt Ryan and Julio Jones and Tevin Coleman and Calvin Ridley and... Bruce Irvin, where were you today, sir? Um, Austin Hooper, Marvin Hall, Justin Hardy, Vic Beasley. Where the fuck were you, sir? Tack McKinley, Grady Jarrett. And when I think of Cleveland Browns, I think of Baker Mayfield. Hmm. I mean, I don't allow losses to upset me too much for a long period of time, but the Super Bowl and this one right here sting. Because it's a team that's been much maligned and laughed at for years. The Cleveland Browns, man. I mean... <laughs> I think laughing right now is the only thing that's going to prevent me from jumping in that water right there, a puddle right there. We just lost to the Cleveland Browns, y'all. The Cleveland fucking Browns. <laughs> oh, my God. But you know me. I'm always going to bounce back and be ready. It's going to be a tough week to stomach. It's going to be a tough year to stomach. You know, you, you just don't lose to the Cleveland Browns. You got 16 games a year. That's 16 times 2, which is what? Uh, 32 plus another 16, which is... Three, four, five, six, 48 games. And think about it, in 48 games, or actually at least, what, 30, 32 plus whatever it was now, almost 40 games, late 30s, they've won three games until today. And for some reason, we could not find a way to beat them. Oh, man. I thought the loss to Cleveland a couple years ago in Atlanta in the Georgia Dome on the last second kick was embarrassing. Oh man, the Cleveland Browns. But I'll be ready this week, you know, for our next opponent. You know, the Dallas Cowboys we got coming in at Mercedes Benz. Every game is definitely a must win now. I mean, I don't even think you can afford to lose one more game. But, you know, to be quite honest, if you can't beat Cleveland, I don't see us putting a streak together of, of long proportions. You know, do I think we can beat Dallas? Absolutely. Do I feel like we can beat Arizona, um, uh, Baltimore, Carolina, Tampa? Absolutely. Green Bay? Absolutely. New Orleans? Of course. But what Falcons team is going to show up the rest of the way? How, I mean, how are the Falcons going to react to knowing that they lost to one of the worst teams in NFL history? So we got the Super Bowl choke on, on us, the worst choke in, super, in playoff sports, Super Bowl history, period, in general. And now we got the distinction of being a pretty damn good team in the last 15 years, and we lost to the Cleveland Browns. I mean, that's just utterly embarrassing, man. I mean, oh, my God. I, oh, my Lord. And I don't ask for sympathy, you know, for my sports, because I know you guys are going to rub it in, and it's understandable. But the Cleveland Browns, really? Oh, 
man. But like I told you, I have a lot, a lot to talk about, and this is definitely it. This is just utterly embarrassing. You know, I mean, I could just title the whole video embarrassing, and I'm sure y'all can read it on my face. I'm perplexed, shocked, disappointed, mad, angry, dumbfounded, head scratcher or beanie scratcher, but, you know, it is what it is, man. We got to forget about this. You know, the Falcon players should be fucking ashamed of themselves. I'm ashamed of every single Atlanta Falcon player, every single Atlanta Falcon coach, that you couldn't get your team up. And you, as a player, couldn't perform on the field to defeat a team coming in that hadn't won more than three games in three years. That's embarrassing, y'all. I don't care what you say in your fucking press conference. I don't care what kind of motivational tactic you use. You can't explain losing to Cleveland. I'm sorry, you can't. You cannot explain losing to the Cleveland fucking Browns. And I'm not going to hear it because I'm not going to watch any post-game videos on it. I'm going to focus my time, my time this week on uh, the Dallas Cowboys. You know, and uh, that's going to come up in the next day or so. But, oh my God. Walk around Atlanta and people looking at me knowing we had a Super Bowl choke and we lost to the Cleveland Browns. So do me a favor. People who want to keep saying 28 to 3, can y'all just, just enlighten me and give me a break and just come on my page and just say Cleveland Browns instead of 28 to 3? Because I think losing to Cleveland is a lot more embarrassing. I really do. It's a lot more embarrassing. So I'm out, y'all. Uh, I'm out.